Unlike most of the other animals at the zoo, the golden lion tamarins roam free. And the tamarin twins, Samba and Gisela, have the run of the place. They jump, chase squirrels, and snatch food. Dad Eduardo and Mom Lorana have their hands full with these little girls. Even though they're playmates, Samba and Gisela have distinct personalities. Zoo staffer Jennifer Micklenburg has known the twins since they were born. Samba's always been the more outgoing of the two twins. And right away from the beginning, she was the first one to move on her own. She didn't need to be carried. And she's just always been kind of more outgoing, more, a little bit more adventurous. Her sister, Gisela, was more timid. Gisela's been an interesting monkey to watch adapt outside. When she first came out, she was very timid. We used to call her Princess G because she always wanted dad's attention. She was definitely a daddy's girl. The more time she's been outside, the more independent she's become. She's starting to lead the family to different places in the park and um, really taking a different role. Tamarins really like their own space and stay within a few hundred yards of their nest. Everyone wants to know why don't the gold mine tamarins leave this area? Why don't they go to Georgetown or visit the president, you know, at the White House? And the reason is is because they're very territorial. They have a nest box which is hanging in the tree. They have their food here. So really the two major things they need and the third is company. They have each other. So they don't have any reason to go too far away. In the wild, their home would be a nest made of sticks and leaves. But at the zoo, it's a cooler. So these guys sleep in what's really a modified picnic cooler. And we do that because it's, it's easy to clean. It, we know it protects them from cold weather. And it's relatively uh, rain-proof and also weatherproof. The twins have a safe, cozy home at the zoo. But until recently, that wasn't the case for their cousins in the wild. In Brazil, forest space for tamarins to build their nests was disappearing. People cut down the trees, and without them, the monkeys couldn't find mates. And the National Zoo came up with a plan to breed monkeys and release them back into the wild. They found that the tamarins that took their cooler nests with them thrived. They go to Brazil with their cooler. Um, we give them food, we give them some water, we give them medical attention if they need it. If they get lost, we bring them back. The first 100 zoo tamarins sent to Brazil have grown up and had their own babies. So they've bred and their kids have bred and, and the population is doing quite well in Brazil because of that reintroduction component. 